Well, it may not solve all the traffic worries on Pleasure Island, but it's certainly a good start. Gridlock on the island, a common occurrence that has only gotten worse as millions travel to Alabama's sandy beaches each year. Traveling north and south, there's only two ways on and off the island. A third bridge has long been discussed and is now about to become reality. I was hopeful that we were heading in that direction. I knew that the bids were good. The $53 million project getting the green light from ALDOT earlier this week for a new public bridge over the ICW. I think it's a great idea and I want to compliment uh, Gulf Shores and the community for pushing this. The bridge will be located near what locals call the concrete curve just outside of the Orange Beach city limits, but this won't only impact traffic in Gulf Shores. I think it gives all of us confidence that Highway 59 is not going to be as congested as, as it has been and continued to be. Uh, it gives us really easy, better access to health care. And that all-important evacuation route when the next storm hits. You had to get off in a hurry. I mean, it's going to be a problem. Uh, if it's something like Sally hits us real sudden when everybody was still here, I think that I think it would be a lot big help. Another bridge, hopefully, making scenes like this a thing of the past. The new two-lane bridge will be free to motorists. Construction expected to start later this month with completion in January of 2026. On the Baldwin County Beat in Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.